This video is for those who are currently not registered with the FCC and plan on applying to become an FCC licensed amateur or marine radio operator. Each applicant will need to first create an FCC profile complete with the username and password. Then, the applicant will need to create an FCC registration number, also known as an FRN, which will be linked automatically to the username and password after the FRN has been created. The FRN is what the volunteer exam coordinator will use to link your application to your FCC profile. To begin the process of creating the FCC profile, visit FCC.gov forward slash ULS and click on the register link at the top of the page. Creating an FCC username will allow each user to have a unique login ID to manage their FRN. At this point, you have an option to register through the new commission registration system or the old system. This video will take you through the new system, so please click on the updated version of CORES link in the description. From the CORES login page, click the register button, where you will be directed to the FCC user registration system. In the username field, enter your email address, which will serve as your FCC username. Complete the rest of the form, then click Submit. Once you have submitted your FCC user registration form, an email will be sent to the email address you entered as the username. Open the email from the FCC registration, click the verification link, and you will see that your FCC username is verified. You can now use your FCC username and password to log into the Commission registration system. Clicking the Go to CORES button on the verification notification will take you directly to the CORES main menu. Next, we will create an FRN by clicking the Register New FRN link. On the next screen, you will select the answers that are applicable to you. Click Continue. For amateur and marine radio license applicants, we will want to select the CORES FRN registration. After the next page loads, you will see a new set of text fields to be entered. Here, you are required to provide your information in the fields marked with a red asterisk, as well as your social security number. Once all of the information is entered and you hit submit, you will be brought to an FRN registration confirmation page, which will provide your FRN and allow you to review the information that you have submitted. After pressing continue, you will be taken back to the FCC profile page. To confirm your FRN, Select Manage Existing FRNs, click Manage FRNs, and you will find the FRN registered to you right here. This is the number that you will want to take to the Volunteer Exam Coordinator. After you have passed your exam and the Volunteer Coordinator has uploaded your application, you can check on the status by going to FCC.gov forward slash ULS. Once on the ULS homepage, you will want to click on the Applications button under the search section. This will take you to the search application page. Here you will select FRN and enter your FRN number in the box next to it and hit the search button. The search results for your FRN should yield the application submitted by the exam coordinator. If you have any questions or need to speak to a representative, please call the ULS hotline at 1-877-480 3201 or go to fcc.gov forward slash support.